Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawag. We will now pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. O sacred feast, in, in which you partake of Christ, His sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with His grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. He gave them bread from heaven to be their food, and this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, you gave, gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death. May our worship of the sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom where you live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth to beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ your Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate on the sorrowful mysteries. The first sorrowful mystery, the agony in the garden. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, 
pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second sorrowful mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in this, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third sorrowful mystery, the crowning with thorns. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth sorrowful mystery, the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us at us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us at us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us at us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us at us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us at us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us at us, 
now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us in us, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth sorrowful mystery, the crucifixion and death of Jesus. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy day. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage, O Holy, Holy Mother of God, despise not our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawag, pray for us. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by His life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant to beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward whom the Lord has set over his household. The Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him with a splendid garment. Let us pray. Father, Father we entrusted, entrusted our Savior to the, to the care of St. Joseph. By the help of his prayers, may your Church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. 
Jubilee Prayer for the Golden Anniversary of the Dominican Province of the Philippines. O God, our Father and Creator, in, in whom we live and move and, and have our being, we praise you as we gather in gentle grace and gratitude on this Jubilee of the Dominican Province of the Philippines. O God, the Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, we preach you as the way, the truth, and the life, whose name we proclaim, whose love is tried to incarnate. O God, the Holy Spirit, Advocate and Guide, we bless you and seek the outpouring of your presence in the witness of our words and works, in the consecration of our lives to holy preaching, in speaking only to you and about you, that our celebration be filled with fidelity to our mission, with hope for your promise, and with true charity binding us all, and the gospel we share with all peoples. By your will, O God, in your name, O Lord. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. Our Holy Father, Saint Dominic, pray for us. Please be seated for a while. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawa. Today is the memorial of St. Gregory the Great, Pope and Doctor. St. Gregory was born at Rome around the year 540. He rose to various public offices to the prefecture which he renounced. He entered the monastic life and at once ordained deacon. He discharged the duties of legate at Constantinople. On September 3, 590, he was elevated to the chair of St. Peter, and he proved to be a true shepherd by carrying out his office helping the poor, spreading and strengthening the faith. He wrote extensively on moral and theological subjects. He died on March 12, 604. We will now have the morning prayer of the Church, integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass. We invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with grace and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let, Come, us, let us worship Christ, Christ Chief King Shepherd of the, of the flock. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea, it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Come, then let us bow down and worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God, and we are His people the flock he shepherds. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness, when at Meribah and Massa, they challenge me and provoke me, although they have seen all of my works. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Forty years I endured a generation, I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, Come let, let us worship Christ, Christ Chief Shepherd, Shepherd of the, the flock. flock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, Christ Chief, Chief Shepherd, Shepherd of the Flock. flock. A humble, contrite heart, O God, ye will not spare. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. 
My offenses truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done. That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, and guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart. Then in the secret of my heart, teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with the spirit of perverse sustain me that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, for in offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humble, contrite heart to God you will not swear. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Even in your anger, Lord, you will remember compassion. O Lord, I have heard your renown, and feared, O Lord, your word. In the course of the years, revive it. In the course of the years, make it known. In your wrath, remember compassion. God comes from Temen, the Holy One from Mount Paran, covered the heavens with His glory, and with His grace the earth is filled. His splendor spreads like the light. Rays shine forth from beside Him where his power is concealed. You come forth to save your people, to save your anointed one. You tread the sea with your steeds, amid the churning of the deep waters. I hear, and my body trembles, at the sound of my lips quiver. Decay invades my bones, my legs tremble beneath me. I await the day of distress that will come upon the people who attack us. For though the fig tree blossom not, nor fruit beyond the vines, though the yield of the olive fail, and the terraces produce no nourishment, though the flocks disappear from the fold, and there be no herd in the stalls, yet will I rejoice in the Lord, and exult in my saving God. God, my Lord, is my strength. He makes my feet swift as those of the hinds, and enables me to go upon the heights. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as now, and will be forever. Amen. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. O oh, praise the Lord, Jerusalem. Zion, praise your God. He has strengthened the bars of your gates. He has blessed the children within you. He established peace on your borders. He feeds you with fine sweet. He sends out his word to the earth, and swiftly runs his command. He showers down snow white as wool. He scatters hoarfrost like ashes. He hurls down hailstones like crumbs. The waters are frozen at his touch. He sends forth his word, and it melts them. At the breath of his mouth, the waters flow. He makes his word known to Jacob. To Israel his loss and decrees. He has not dealt thus with all the nations. He has not taught them his decrees. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please so stand. Let us pray. Father, you guide your people with kindness and govern us with love. By the prayers of St. Gregory, give the spirit of wisdom to those you have called to lead your church. 
May the growth of your people in holiness be the eternal joy of our shepherds. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Brothers and sisters, Christ Jesus is the image of the invisible God, the firstborn of all creation. For in him were created all things in heaven and on earth, the visible and invisible, whether thrones or dominions or principalities or powers, all things were created through him and for him. He is before or else that is, and him all things hold together. He is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he himself might be preeminent, for in him all the fullness was pleased to dwell, and through him to reconcile all things for him, making peace by the blood of his cross, through him whether those on earth or those in heaven. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him with joyful song. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Know that the Lord is God. He made us his we are, his people, the flock he tends. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, his courts with praise. Give thanks to him, bless his name. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. For he is good, the Lord, his kindness endures forever, and his faithfulness to all generations. Come with joy into the presence of the Lord. Please so stand. light of the world, says the Lord, whoever follows me will have the light of life. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The scribes and the Pharisees said to Jesus, The disciples of John the Baptist fast often and offer prayers, and the disciples of the Pharisees do the same. But yours, eat and drink. Jesus answered them, Can you make the wedding guests fast while the bridegroom is with them? But the days will come, and when the bridegroom is taken away from them, then they will fast in those days. And he also told them a parable. No one tears a piece from a new cloak to patch an old one. Otherwise, he will tear the new, and the piece from it 
will not match the old cloak. Likewise, no one pours new wine into old wineskins. Otherwise, the new wine will burst the skins and it will be spilled and the skins will be ruined. Rather, new wine must be poured into fresh wineskins and no one who has been drinking old wine desires new. For he says, the old is good. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Sometimes, timing is everything. Timing is everything. May mga pagkakataon po kasi na parang tama naman ang ginagawa natin. Pero, wala lang sa timing. Kaya, nagiging mali. Parang yung nasa unang bahagi ng Ibanghelyong binasa natin ngayong araw, ikinumpara ang mga disipulos ni Jesus sa mga disipulos ni Juan Bautista at ng mga pariseyo. Bakit mas malimit mag-ayuno ang mga disipulos nila samantalang ang mga disipulos ni Jesus ay kumakain, umiinom. Sinasabi lang ni Jesus na wala sa timing ang pag-aayuno nila, ang pag-aayuno ng ibang disipulos. Bakit? Nag-aayuno sila dahil umaasa sila sa pagdating ng manunubos. Pero hindi nila alam na natupad na ang kasulatan. At ang dahilan ng pag-aayuno nila ay nagaganap na. The scripture is fulfilled in their hearing. Marahil nangihinayang si Jesus para sa kanila dahil hindi nila nakita ang katuparan ng pangako. Ang katuparan ng pangako na nakasulat sa kasulatan. At ang mga araw nakasama siya, nakasama si Jesus, must be a day of feasting and not fasting. Wala sila sa timing, pero darating din ang araw na mag-aayuno ulit ang mga disipulos ni Jesus dahil aasa silang muli sa pagbabalik ng Mesiyas sa araw ng pagpuhukong. Sa buhay natin, may mga pagkakataon din po na nangihinayang tayo sa desisyong nagawa natin. Makikita natin ito sa mga kanta. Siguro sa mga oldies, yung mga hugot nila, kapanahunan ni Barry Manilow, kinakanta nila yung Somewhere Down the Road, yung umpisa pa lang ng linya, Punong-puno ng panghihinayang. Sinabi, We have the right love at the wrong time. Punong-puno ng panghihinayang dahil mas inuna yung dreams. I have no right to make you stay. Pero ngayon, makikita pa rin natin, maririnig pa rin natin ito sa mga kanta ng mga yapis. Di tayo pwede pinagtagpo pero di pinagtadhana. Punong-puno ng pangihinayang. Yung naramdaman nilang pag-ibig, wala sa timing. Hindi pwede. Punong-puno po ng pangihinayang dahil ang naramdaman nila sa isa't isa, ay eh parang tama. Pero pag ilagay natin sa oras, nagiging mali. Yung ibang nag, yung iba nga, nag-asawa agad. Tama naman po na mag-asawa. 
Pero hindi sa edad na 15, na 14, na 16, na wala pang maipakain sa kanilang magiging anak, na hindi pa alam ang konsepto ng pag-aasawa. O di kaya, may mga pagkakataon din na hindi natin nadalaw at natulungan ang mga mahal natin sa buhay na may sakit, na na-depress, na humihingi ng tulong, na dalaw na lang natin sila sa puntod nila. Nakakapanghinayang, puno ng panghinayang, at minsan nagsisisi dahil hindi natin ginawa ang mga tamang bagay sa tamang panahon. Kaya ngayon po, inaanyayahan tayo na gawin ang tamang bagay sa tamang panahon. Kailan po yung tamang panahon? So, ito lang, di ko rin alam. Pero makikita natin ang kasagutan sa Ibanghelyo kahapon. Sa nangyari kay San Pedro at sa mga namamangkat ng muli ng isda. Alam mo, malalaman niyo po ang tamang panahon kung kailan kapag nakita, naramdaman, naramdaman mo, kasama mo si Jesus sa iyong plano, sa iyong desisyon, sa iyong ginagawa. Kahapon na pakinggan natin si San Pedro, buong gabi, magdamag, kasama ng kanyang mga kasama, nangingisda, pero wala silang nahuli. Pero nung sumakay si Jesus sa kanilang bangka at sinabi, ihagis mo ang lambat. At anong nangyari? Ang dami nilang nahuli. Halos mapuno ang bangka. At halos lumubog ito dahil sa dami. At natuwa sila. Napuno sila ng kaligayahan. Dahil nasa timing. Nasa panahon dahil kasama nila si Jesus. Parang kanta lang din na sinasabi, In His time, In His time, In His time, You make all things beautiful, In His time. Kapag kasama natin ng Diyos, ang Kanyang panahon, ang Kanyang oras, ang nasusunod. At kapag ang Kanyang oras ang nasusunod, lahat ng bagay, gumaganda, sumasaya. Kaya't lagi natin ipagdasal, ituloy natin yung anta. Lord, please show me every day as you're teaching me your way that you do just what you say in your time. Mga kapatid, kapag hindi natin nakikita ang Diyos sa ating mga ginagawa, sa ating mga plano, habang buhay o araw-araw tayong magsisisi, maghihinayang, Katulad ng mga disipulo ng mga pariseyo na araw-araw nag-aayuno dahil araw-araw na umaasa kahit nasa harap na nila ang Diyos. Pero kapag isasama natin ang Diyos sa ating plano, sa ating mga ginagawa, Siya na mismo ang magsasabi kung kailan ang tamang oras. Dahil sabi sa aklat ng Profeta Isaiah, when the time is right, I, the Lord, will make it happen. I, the Lord, will make it happen. Kaya, paanyaya sa atin ulit. Isama natin ang Diyos sa ating ginagawa. Isama natin siya sa plano 
lahat ng mangyayari ay nasa right timing. At kapag nasa right timing, mapupuno tayo ng saya, ng ligaya. Because it is in His time. Please stand. God enjoins us to gather together as community to offer our intercessions, our petitions, our desires. May the good Lord hear our petitions as one community will raise them up to heaven. For every intention, we are going to say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church, the people of God, and its leaders may follow the promptings of the Holy Spirit to speak to the people of the day, the ever new language of the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer. That we may open our hearts to God's saving power in Christ, which is much more important than observing an ancient religious practice. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer that we may realize that the miracle of change is always possible for those who seek Christ's help in attaining it. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. prayer, that we may become channels of the Lord's caring hands to the sick by showing them love and concern. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, for our friends, for our relatives, for our parents, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. For vocations and the needs of the province, and for our brothers and ministry at St. John Lateran and St. Albert the Great. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. That the dead may find eternal rest in the company of the risen Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the devotees and pilgrims, of Our Lady of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, for our personal intentions and the intentions of this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, give us the prudence of our heart that we may do everything with the right intention, at the right place, and at the right time. We ask you this in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have this bread to offer which earth has given and human hands have made. This will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine, works of human hands. This will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant our supplication, we pray, O Lord, that the sacrifice we present in celebration of St. Gregory may be for our good, since through each offering we have 
lose the offenses of all the world through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Gregory the Great, you bid your church to rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching, keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francisco, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, Fidelis, our auxiliary Bishop, Gerard, the Master of the Order, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her beloved spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Gregory the Great, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Jesus loves us and in his love for us he taught us to call his own father our father so we have the courage to say our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold, this is Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are we who are called to this communion. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my room, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Please so stand. Gregory, an outstanding pastor of a church, is left as a splendid example and rule of life, a guide for all who shepherd God's people. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Gregory, Gregory an outstanding pastor of a church, church, has left us a splendid example and rule of life, a guide for all who shepherd God's people. Let us pray. Through Christ the Teacher, O Lord, instruct those you feed with Christ the Living Bread, that on the feast of St. Gregory the Great, they may learn your truth, express it in works of charity, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated for an announcement. The Dominican Community of the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of Rosary of Manawa is pleased to inform you that the October Feast of Our Lady the Rosary of Manawa will be on October 3, 2021, the first Sunday of October. The Novena Masses will be scheduled at 6 a.m., 7.30 a.m., 9 a.m., 10.30 a.m., 12 noon, and 4.30 p.m. from September 24 to October 2, 2021. Additional Mass at 3 p.m on September 26, Sunday. We invite you to participate in these Novena Masses and be one of us in expressing our devotion to Our Lady the Rosary of Manawa. If you wish to sponsor one or several of the Novena Masses, you may fill out the form at the counters for Masses area and submit it with your donation, and you will be given an acknowledgement receipt. Or you may visit our website www.manawagminorbasilica.org at online pamisa where you will find available online and other options for donations. All names of donors and sponsors for Novena Masses will appear in electronic souvenir program. Thank you very much for your continued support. God bless you. Please so stand. Kami po ito ang pusong nagpapasalamat sa inyong lahat na, nags na nagsidalo at nakiisa sa aming pagdiriwang ng Santa Eucharistia na may pagpatuloy po ninyo ang pagdarasal para sa aming mga naglilingkod sa inyo dito sa Basilica Minore of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag at makakaasa kayo ang pagpapatuloy din namin ang pagdarasal para sa inyo at sa inyong mga pamilya. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Now please join us as we pray for the blessing of the sick and then followed by the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness towards our sick and aging brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manal, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, 
They will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, images, candles, oil, and other religious articles be blessed and made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.